So when I was younger, all my cousins would come over to my house and hang out with my sister and I. The parents would go to work and the kids would look after each other. Hashtag immigrant hustle. Not one day shortly after our parents left, we were in the middle of playing video games when the house phone rang. Yeah, a house phone. It's like a cell phone, but attached to your house. Oh God, I'm showing my age. So my older cousin answered it. Hello? Hello? No answer. Weird, but whatever. So we continued playing video games. Until the phone rang again. This time another cousin answered. Same thing. No answer. Now, at this point, we could have made up rational conclusions such as, you know, maybe it's the wrong number or bad connection, a telemarketer, whatever. But that's not what kids do. Instead, we concluded that someone was definitely trying to murder us and we should come up with a master plan to stop it. Come to think of it, this might have been around the holidays and we may or may not have been watching Home Alone, but I swear to God, that doesn't have anything to do with it. So it began. We decided we were going to document whenever we would receive calls. I mean, all the details, the date, the time, everything. Now, we noticed a pattern in the calls that happened every single day. And by pattern, I mean we made this conclusion on day two. What? Okay, listen, patterns can be two days. But either way, this became an obsession. On day three, we received more calls than usual. It was definitely a sign. So we began to brainstorm. Is it a robber? A spirit? A demon? The possibilities were endless. Something just didn't feel right. Our brainstorm was interrupted by one of my cousins when they said, Hey, did you hear that? Now, I definitely did not, but nonetheless, I replied, Yes, oh my god, who was that? I didn't want to be the first to die by denying the presence of the demon. Maybe something was in our house. It was time to take action. We gathered all of the utensils in the drawers and headed straight to the master bedroom. The plan was simple. Lock ourselves in the room as a group and create a safe haven. Duh. I don't know why... I can hear you. <sighs> yeah, but you are a little power level, so you are gonna have to drop first. What level are you? Because you're 23. For me. I'm a level two. What level are you then? Yeah, actual level. You're... So you're entwined. Can you go into a twine? Not like a twine mission in your twine ho uh, home base. But like, go into the world twine. Do it. Huh. Okay, then can I get edits? What about host and edits? Who either wants me dead or wants my face to be as flat as a pancake is sitting next to me. Great. So I was just minding my own business when the zombie big snobster turns to me and goes, Hey Jess, why don't you tell everyone why you quit Viola? It's not letting me load in. There. Mm. Hold on, let me change my character. Go ahead and change him. Um. Depends. Let me check what I need.
Alright, let me see. What do I need? I need blast powder and sturdy. Okay, can I get edits? Making sure this. Hold on. I'm making sure this is scam proof. Give me a second. Let's go check under here. Yeah, there is a glitch. Blast powder. Okay, do you have any coal? A hundred. All right. So, do you know what? Um, do you know what vendor check is? This stuff. Would you do anything for it? Will you take... Would you take maybe, um... Like... Hmm, what can I... And 282 graves? Alright. 